Welcome to Gratitude Lab. Today I will do Task Sense review and demo. It is AI powered personal assistant, which is available as web application, Chrome extension, and as Android application. Here is a brief look at what you can do with this assistant. Of course, you will be able to analyze any text while you surf in the web through the Chrome extension, which can be pretty convenient. You will be able to generate summaries save particular piece of content into Desk Sense itself. You will be able to get help with complex Excel formulas and basically whatever you can use in your browser like Gmail, you can get help to write your emails as well. At the moment, Desk Sense is available as Absomo deal. With this deal, you get all of the features of Desk Sense, like what you would expect from AI Assistant. Basically, you can ask it anything, you can ask ChatGPT, but arguably in a more convenient way, and you will be able to store results in a more convenient way. You can ask to write articles and blog posts, ask to help you with your social media content. There is GPT-4 integration, however, it will cost more than GPT-3.5. Regarding deal structure, you just need to select what number of words you need. For example, with plan number one, you get 60,000 words per month. If you need more, you can go with plan two or three, where you can get 200,000 words per month. Okay, let's move to the actual demo. This is the main dashboard. And first of all, you have access to a chat. I believe it is similar to a chat GPT. For example, you can ask something like, give me 10 catchy blog post titles for the keyword, how to improve digestive system. And let's go. And here it is, you get the suggestions. Okay, moving next, we have a chat room. This is similar to any messenger. So you can add a team member and do mentions and share some information here in this chat group. Here you won't be able to generate AI content, I believe it is just for a collaboration between team members. And AppSumo plans don't include additional team members, so people need to have their own DeskSense account. Okay, the newly added section, another feature of DeskSense, parts for AI writer. Here you can find some pre-built templates to generate some content. For example, blog intro. Let's update the template. Okay, so this is the updated template. We have our topic, how to improve digestive system. We have our audience and keywords defined. Our model is GPT 3.5 and GPT 4 will cost you 10 times more. Garden tone, let it be friendly. Word limit, let it be between 100 and 200. It's good that we have options for different languages, but let's stick with English and ask. For the first run, it gave an error and I just clicked regenerate and then it worked perfectly fine. And we got a great introduction paragraph for our blog post. So inside that writer section, you will find more pre-built templates. Those are just for your ease of use. You can even ask to generate some code or motivational quote. However, all of those requests you can do inside AI chat and just ask those here. So I would find those templates just a more convenient and faster way to access what you can do in chat. If you will go to all prompts, here you can find some prompts suggestion, which will be later used in our Chrome extension. We just explored the web version of DeskSense, but in order to use it to its full potential, you will need to add Chrome extension, and then you will be able to request AI system just by selecting something on the web and then clicking ask. Let's say you opened a particular article for a more deep dive. You will also have convenient summarize button. You can click on that. We will have the content pre-populated and as well pre-populated prompt to summarize the content. And let's ask. 
we've got an error. And imagine you would like to understand the introduction in more detail. So you can select that, click Ask. We will have pre-populated content that we selected and we can write our prompt. Like explain the content as I am five year old. And we've got the summary, well, a bit simplified. Let's take a look at some other potential use cases. For example, you select some type of content, you invoke the assistant, you will have some predefined prompts saved here. Those you can configure at this view at all prompts. So you can just select that and the prompt will appear here. Let's say you would like to get five viral tweet ideas on this topic. Let's include emojis, emotion, let it be casual, and let's save this prompt and ask. And here it is, our tweet ideas. One more item to note that you will also get generate AI image functionality with Apps module. All right, moving to a conclusion. So DeskSense may provide you a more convenient access to functionality of ChatGPT. Basically, you can generate here everything you can do with ChatGPT, but you will get some prompt presets. You will be able to save your custom prompts. You will be able to communicate using built-in chat feature. And if you don't want to pay a subscription fee to ChatGPT, you can get this deal and have some number of words available to you monthly forever. Also, DeskSense is available as a mobile application. At the moment, only as Android app. So if you think this tool may be useful for you, please check my affiliate link to it in the description. Please also give this video a like and subscribe for more similar videos. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.